All right, guys, let's get started with the next set of problems here. Now we're pretty much, uh, we're combining everything we've been doing now into this section, which we're gonna, you know, compute the couple moment, the resultant force, acting on this wooden uh, frame, okay? And then we're gonna replace all of it by one resultant force, okay? at A, so you know, uh, maybe the resultant force points in this direction, okay, and then uh, combined with the moment that these three forces cause on this, on this, uh, on this structure. So it could be like, our final result should be something like this. Not, not really the directions or anything, but um, de just depicted, depicted as uh, resultant force and a combined moment and that's it all right so let's get on to that let's do the easy part first let's compute the summation of forces so let's see what's the res so we're going to do the resultant force in the x direction okay and the resultant force in the y direction so let's take care of those things. So my coordinate system is going to be like this, x and y. All right. And I'm also going to say that um, counterclockwise is positive, like always. OK. So in the x direction, I have this minus 200 pound force. OK. In the y direction, I have this minus 150. OK. And let's look at this one, this 100 pound force up here. They give you a triangle here, three, four, so we know this is five. You just love these, they just love it. Three, four, five triangle, okay? So you know that this right here is another proportional triangle of three, four, five. And we also know that in the x direction, it's going to be like this. And in the y direction, it'll be like this. OK. So let's do that. So in the x direction, where it's going to be positive, because pointing to the right, 3 fifths times 100. And the y direction is going to be positive. 4 fifths uh, times 100. All right, so let's see. Uh, so this is five, 100 divided by 520, so that's 60. So this is going to be 60. And you'll see why I'm drawing them here first. 60, and then this is 80. OK, so minus 200 plus 60 will give us minus 140 pounds. In the y direction, we get uh, minus 150 plus 80. All right, so we're going to have minus 70 pounds. OK, so now my, res uh, my resultant, OK. in vector form is going to be minus 140 pi minus 70 j. OK. And then the direction of it, we're going to do the inverse tan. Of minus 70 over minus 140. This is inverse tan of uh, 0.5, pretty much. Yeah, inverse tan of 0.5. Yeah. Let me make sure I'm in radians. I mean, degrees, sorry. Make sure you're in degrees. So you'll get like an angle of 26 point, let's just round up, 26.6 degrees. Okay. 
So now at A, I am going to place. Uh, actually, let, let's let's make a new let's make a new structure. So this is my this is the structure. Okay. Well, now I've taken off all those forces. Okay. You know, shade it in, make it all cute. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this is my structure. And then this is point A, right? So I'm going to put the minus one. F uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's going to be minus, minus 70. So let's say this is minus 70. And then minus 140. Okay. And then the angle that this makes is going to be like this. So this is theta of 26 degrees. Okay, so this is FR. All right, and then FR, the magnitude of it, is just going to be 140 squared plus 70 squared, square root of that. Which will be one fifty six point five pounds. Okay, so FR is one fifty six point five pounds. Okay, so now we've replaced all the forces. Notice how I didn't draw any a uh, force here or anything like that. I've taken all those forces, bunched them up at point A. Now I want to bunch up all the moments at A. Okay, so let's take all the moments at A. So sum all the forces at A, and that'll give you the results into A. Okay, so right away, let's look at this 200 pound force here. This 200 pound force, if you keep drawing the line of action, extend it all the way it's gonna intersect A. So this 200 pound force is just pushing on A. So it's pushing that that bottom board into A. It's not making it rotate but about A, okay? Compared to this 150 pound force. This 150 pound force is trying to break A or break the board and make it rotate in this direction, right? So we know that's gonna contribute a moment. So it's going to be 150. Now, what's the perpendicular distance from the 150 pound force to A, or from A to the uh, 150 pound board uh, force? It's going to be 3 feet. Okay. Now, let's look at let's look at the forces up here. Oh yeah, and this is going to rotate clockwise, so it's going to be negative. All the the forces up here, this 60 pound force, which is the you know the component in the x direction again it, it's going to push on this part of the board right so it's going to want to make it rotate down you know in a clockwise sense so we know that's going to be a negative moment 60 times some distance right and then what's the distance if we extend the line of action of this you know of that force What's the distance that I need to move it so it intersects? So the line of action intersects A. So it's going to be four feet. Okay, four. I know it's close to the five feet, but remember the five feet was the hypotenuse of this weird triangle here. All right, so it's going to be times four. All right, and then last but not least, we have this eighty-pound force. This eighty-pound force. Is making it's pushing up on this on this board here okay so it's gonna try to like you know try to hold it up this this force over here the 150 pounds trying to make it go down this was trying to rotate it in the opposite direction so in this direction which is counterclockwise so this will be 80 times 
now the distance that I have to move its line of action over to intersect A, which is a total of six feet. Okay, so let's just say the resultant moment is minus 150 times three, uh, minus, that looks like 240, plus 80 times six. So that's minus 210 uh, pound feet. Okay, so going back to our going back to our board here, our little our, oh man, I'm trying to move this. Well, let, let's just let's just go back from the beginning. So, let's just because it's not gonna fit here. So let's draw. Okay, this is the board. All right, and this is point A. So, like I said earlier, we we replaced it with the resultant. And we know the resultant was going. We know it had F X. And a negative Fy resultant, so this was, uh, you know, the negative 70 and the minus 140 here, right? And we know the resultant. This yielded the resultant of 156.5 pounds. So it made an angle of 26. 26.6 okay and now let's tack on this clockwise um, uh, resultant moment that we just found so resultant moment okay it's going to be a clockwise 210 so then at a I'm going to add oh, let me do it a different color oops Going to be a clockwise. Two ten pound foot. Okay. So the net, the res, uh, resultant force, and the resultant moment give you all the information of what's going on with this beam. Um, you know, after it's after all these forces. Are, have been, you know, uh, acting on this uh, structure. Okay, so that's how you replace the uh, all the forces along with a couple moment at a certain point. Okay. So yeah, and that's pretty much it for this one. And then we'll be doing it for a little more complex uh, situations in the following examples. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have questions concerns, things I should improve on. All right, take it easy.